Well, an East Valley man, uh, he is out $30,000 for a home renovation job uh, that was abandoned by the remodeling company. So he picked up the phone. He contacted 300 Sides Gary Harper and his team for help. Well, we have a lot of unusual and weird factors going on in tonight's story. For starters, we have an unlicensed company that's doing contracting work when it's not supposed to be. We have a convicted felon wanted out of California. And then we have somebody claiming to be the owner of the company that wants to return some, but not all of the money. I had been looking for this specific house in this neighborhood for about a year. The architecture of this 70s style house was what I was looking for. So as soon as Todd Carmack purchased his Glendale done. home, he got to work updating it. I uh, had the cabinets repainted as well. That was done in the second week. Um, had some flooring put down, had the exterior of the house all repainted. Up next, Todd had plans to renovate two bathrooms and his backyard. That's when he said he came across a guy named Kendall Mitchell Cole. He goes by Mitch and said he was with a company called Modern Renovations. So I hired Mitch Cole and Modern Renovations to complete two bathroom remodels. And then there was a separate outside job to build a pergola on the outdoor patio. And the project was kind of pricey. The outdoor pergola system was 7,100 and the bathroom projects were 19,400 and something. Todd says he wrote out several checks totaling around $30,000 for both projects. And although Mitch Cole did do some tile work in the bathrooms, he eventually abandoned the project altogether. I came home to no toilets installed, plumbing sticking out of the walls, no vanities, no shower enclosures, kind of a mess. Todd was forced to hire someone else to finish the bathrooms. Uh, he then contacted three on your side and we started investigating Mitch Cole. Uh, we discovered he was on the run and considered a fugitive of justice. In fact, Cole was recently picked up in the Phoenix area by the U.S. Marshal's office and transported back to California Department of Corrections. Prison officials there tell three on your side that Mitch Cole was on parole for a list of convictions, including burglary and theft and absconded to Arizona. And then there's this website that we found called KendallMitchellCole.com. It was created by a frustrated consumer who claims to have been ripped off by Mitch Cole. The website posts Mitch Cole's mugshots along with his lengthy criminal history and warns consumers not to hire him. Todd says he wishes he knew all of this before ever handing over all that money. I can't even describe on a daily basis how frustrating it was um, to look at a project that I'm shelling out $30,000 for and getting no satisfaction. Now, since Three on Your Side got involved in this case, somebody claiming to be the owner of the company contacted Three on Your Side saying that they want to return $8,000 to Todd just to make this whole issue go away. He says he can't return the thirty grand, but he says he will return 8000 Todd says he'll be happy to get any money back. Of course, I'll let you know what happens in a follow-up report. I'm Gary Harper, 3 on your side.